Good day everyone! Thank you for visiting my YouTube channel, Math Lessons with Mom Baskets. Today, I will discuss laws or rules of exponents. It is one of the topics in grade 9, so understanding it is useful for other future math lessons. Hopefully, after you watch this, you will be able to understand the different laws or rules of exponents and be able to use it in simplifying exponential expressions. Let me ask you this. Uh, halimbawa lang naman to, ah. What will you do if you caught by a policeman because he violated one of the quarantine laws? Like, not wear a face mask. And then, he gave you this. What will you do and how would you feel? Nakakaloka siguro kapag ganyan, no? Siguro may isip mo na sana hindi ka nalang lumabas. O kaya, dapat ka face mask ka bago ka lumabas. Tapos, saka mo lang may isip na sa paglabas may batas. MM lang naman yun. Pero syempre, kailangan pa rin nating sundin yung mga quarantine laws and protocols para din sa safety nating lahat yun. Remember that there are a lot of laws or rules everywhere. And it has to be followed. The same with exponents. Exponent has different laws and rules that you need to understand and remember. Okay, so let's take this one. Suppose the given is 2 to the power of 3 times 2 to the power of 5. How will you describe the two given exponential expressions? What can you say about the bases? Yes, bases are same. So, parehas lang yung base dyan. Ang base natin na parehas ay 2. So, how are you going to multiply exponential expressions with the same base? Remember that 2 to the power of 3 is 2 times 2 times 2. And 2 to the power of 5 is multiplying 2 5 times to itself. So in all, how many times do you need to multiply 2 to itself? Okay, that's 8. So ibig sabihin, we can express that as 2 to the power of 8. Or 2 to the power of 8 is what? 256. Can you think of other way of multiplying two exponential expressions with the same base? You look at the given and compare it to 2 to the power of 8. Where do you think we can get 2? And how can we get 8? Okay, so why don't we just simply copy the base? Kasi parehas naman. So, copyhin natin yung base na 2. And then, how can we come up with 8? Just add 3 and 5. And that is 2 to the power of 8. But don't forget to uh, simplify your answer. 2 to the power of 8 is equal to 256. Okay, and that is what we call product rule. So, product rule states that in multiplying two exponential expressions with a common base, just skip the base and add the exponents. Okay? Another example. Suppose we have x to the power of 2 times x to the power of 4. So, obviously, common yung base dyan. So, you're going to use product rule. Dahil parehas ang base, but parehas na x, you will just copy x. So, anong gagawin natin kay exponents? We're going to add. So, it will become 2 plus 4. So, simplifying this, we have x. 2 plus 4 is 6. So, the answer is x to the power of 6. Okay, what about 4a times 2a squared? So, dito, merong number sa unahan. We call that as numerical coefficient. Kapag may numerical coefficient, uunahin mo siyang i-multiply. So, 4 times 2, that's 8. At parehas naman yung base natin na a you will just copy a. And don't forget to add the exponents. So, what is the exponent of this uh, variable? Anong nasa taas niyan? That's 1. Bakit? Remember that any number raised to 1, the answer is the number itself. So, ibig sabihin, yung a natin, matik yan, may 1 exponent. Pero hindi na natin kailangan ilagay yung 1. Understood na yun. So, 1 plus 2. So, what will be our final answer? So, that's 8a to the power of the next rule is what we call power rule o yung tinatawag na power of a power. So let's take 2 to the power of 3 raised to 2. So pag tinignan mo may exponent na tayo sa loob na 3, meron pa tayong exponent sa labas na 2. Kaya yan tinawag na power of a power. So remember also that 2 to the power of 3 is the same as 2 times 2 times 2, di ba? So, kung yung buong expression na yun naka-raise kay 2, that means multiplying 2 to the power of 3, 2 times to itself. So, it will give you 2 to the power of 3 times 2 to the power of 3. So, paano nga minong multiply yan? Dahil parehas ang base, you will just copy the base. So, you have 2. And then, what will you do with the 2 exponents? You're going to add 3 
plus 3. So, it will give you 2 to the power of 6. And 2 to the power of 6, the value is 64. Now, can you think of other way of uh, simplifying this expression? What do you think is the relationship of 2 to the power of 6 to, to the given? Okay, so we can just simply copy 2, yung base natin, and then how can we come up with 6? Multiply 3 at saka yung 2. That is what we call power rule. And power rule states that to raise an exponential expression with a power, just skip the base, and multiply the exponents. Another example. Suppose we have x to the power of 4, and this expression is raised to 5, ganyan, you will just copy, you will just need to copy the base, and that is x. Copyin lang natin. Ano gagawin natin dito sa dalawa? We're going to multiply. So, 4 times 5. So, simplifying this, we have x is raised to 20. So, this one is our answer. What about 2p raised to 4 raised to 3? O yan. Kapag ganyan, bawat term dyan, ito, tsaka ito, kailangan erase mo dito. So, it will give you 2, dahil ang exponent niya na 1, 1 times 3, and then si P, kopihin mo lang, raised to 4 times 3. So, simplifying this, we have 2, 1 times 3 is 3, is to 12. So, 2 to the power of 3 is equal to 8. So, we have 8, P, raised to 12. And that is our final answer. What about dividing an exponential expression? Let's say we have... 2 to the power of 8 divided by 2 to the power of 5. Remember that 2 to the power of 8 is multiplying 2 8 times to itself. And then 2 to the power of 5 is multiplying 2 5 times to itself. So kapag magdedivide tayo ng ganito, pwede tayo mag-cancel ng pairs. So ano yung ibig sabihin ng cancel ng pairs? Diba, kapag magdedivide ka ng parehas na number, parehas yung nasa numerator, denominator, that's equal to 1. So, dito, meron tayong mga parehas na 2 na nasa taas, meron din nasa ilalim na 2. So, ibig sabihin, pwede natin i-cancel yun because that's equal to 1. So, ilan ang mga cancel natin? Isa, dalawa, tatlo, apat, lima. So, ilan 2 yung matitira? So, tatlo, di ba? So, that is 2 times 2 times 2 or 2 to the power of 3. And simplifying it, that's equal to 8. So, now, what do you think is the easier way of dividing two exponential expressions? Okay, very good. Why don't we just copy two? Kasi paras naman yung base, di ba? So, kung dun sa product rule, kinokopy din natin yung base, pero inaan natin yung exponents, kapag kadagdenify naman tayo, kinokopy din natin yung common base, pero ano kayong gagawin natin sa exponents? How do you think we can come up with three? So, we can just subtract. 8 minus 5 is... Kaya naging 2 to the power of 3. And that is quotient rule. So, in quotient rule, it states that in dividing an exponential expression by another exponential expression with the common base, just skip the base and subtract the exponents. Okay, so let's take another example. Suppose we have x to the power of 10 divided by x to the power of 4. So, nagdi-divide tayo dito. But as you can see, we have the same base. But as you base natin na x. So you will just copy x. And then 10 minus 4. Because it's division. So isang subtract natin yung exponent niya. So we have, so when we simplify this, it will give us x to the power of 6. Okay? What about 6p to the power of 5 divided by 2p to the power of 3? Okay. Eh ma, may number na naman. So, dapat unahin natin. 6 divided by 2 is 3. Meron tayong parehas na P dito na base. So, you will just copy. And then, subtract the exponents. 5 minus 3. So, our final answer is 3. P raised to the power of 2. Next is power of a quotient law. So this law states that to raise a quotient to a power, you need to raise both the numerator and the denominator to a power. Example, quantity of 2 to the power of 2 divided by 3 raised to 2. So paano gagawin yan? Kailangan i-distribute mo yung exponent sa labas kay numerator at ganun din kay denominator. So magiging 2 to the power of 2 times 2, diba? that's, that's a power rule, magiging over 3, ano exponent yan? 1 
times to yung exponent sa nasa labas. So, simplifying it, it will become 2 to the power of 4 over 3 to the power of 2. So, pwede pang isimplify yan. 2 to the power of 4 is 16, and then 3 to the power of 2 is 9. So, our answer is 16 over 9. Another example is quantity of b to the power of 2 over c to the power of 3 raised to 3. So, kailangan natin siya i-distribute. So, it will become b raised to 2 times 3 over c raised to 3 times 3. So, simplifying this, it will become b raised to 6 kasi 2 times 3 over c 3 times 3 is 9. So, this one is our answer. Another example is quantity of 3a raised to 4 over 5b raised to 3 tapos erase natin siya kay 2. So, dito, kailangan bawat term naka-raise yan kay 2. So, it will give you 3. So, let's say may 1 yan, di ba? 1 times 2. So, that's 2 pa din. And then, a to the power of 4 times 2 over 5 raised to 2. And then, we have b raised to 3 times 2. So, simplifying this, we have 3 squared is what? Okay, so it's 9. And then, we have a, 4 times 2 is 8 over 5 squared is 5 times 5. So, we have 25. And then, we have B. 3 times 2 is 6. So, this one is our answer.